Hi, I did an earlier video in which I discussed the what I viewed as being design flaws with the main living room fireplace at, at uh, Falling Water. And, and I made the point that I felt that this was not this problem with fireplaces was not unique among Frank, Frank Lloyd Wright's um, designs. It wasn't unique to Falling Water. I've actually found that it, it, it appears to me to be a common problem with many of his designs. And that is that it's almost as though the, the fireplace is just symbolic. And so many of his fireplaces look like they're impossible to use, you know, to, to, to serve as a real social focal point where you could sit there for, for several hours with a group of people and, and, and real comfort, you know, real comfort and enjoy the, the, the light, the, the, uh, the warmth um, of a fire. Um, so I, I, I wanted to give uh, another example um, beyond Folly Water, and I found a really good example. This is um, uh, Schwartz House, which is in Wisconsin. And this is a really good example because it has two fireplaces that are right next to each other. They're, they're divided by, uh, uh, so you've got these two fireplaces divided by a wall that, like a half wall that protrudes, that, that kind of sort of semi divides the space into two, two rooms. <clears throat> and I'll, I'll show you what I mean. But, but my point is, is that the fireplace on the left is a more traditional, usable fireplace that, that really can serve as a focal point and that you could sit in front of for hours and enjoy the fire. Um, the, the one on the right is uh, an example of, a, in my opinion, a poor design and one that really can't be enjoyed for, for a period of time. You'd have to basically stand in front of it for five minutes to enjoy it and, and how long are you going to do that, right? You, you can't really enjoy it with a group of people. So I'll show you. Now, this is a video um, that, that's on YouTube. The, now, I, I should mention that the Schwartz house can be rented out, right? So this is a couple that rented it out and I guess they're architects and they, they posted a video to YouTube. So I just want to show you a very brief excerpt from the video because they, they, they walk around these two rooms that I'm talking about so you can see both fireplaces. But the, um, the channel is New Office Design. So this is the first fireplace. The one that I was mentioning is, I think, more traditional and, and, and is really usable. Uh, it can be enjoyed for hours at a time if you have comfortable seating. You can see, so she's going to walk around this brick wall, you know, semi wall, and and you you can see in this room, it has the that you know classic uh, Frank Lloyd Wright bench seating that's built in, which which looks like very uncomfortable seating. It's it's got these wooden backs; they're straight up. Um, the the cushion is kind of high, so you see when people sit in it. I'll show you a picture your legs basically have to bend. You can't like sit, slouch down and sprawl out, right? The way you could with a, a low set upholstered chair or a sofa. Um, so it's very uncomfortable seating, but you're also gonna see that basically on this wall, there's nowhere to, you can't view the fire. So this, this is just a throwaway in terms of enjoying the fireplace in this room, right? For much of this wall, you're not gonna be at an angle where you can see the fire. So you really, you'll see, you, you're gonna be relegated to this part of the seating and it's really going to be awkward to put any other seating in here you know in this space because of the bench seating that's the primary seating and even if you did it would be difficult to do it so you could have a group of people enjoying the fire so let me let me play the rest of the video Say, so, so how are you going to enjoy this, right? It seems to me you're only going to be able to enjoy this if you stand in front of it, sit on the floor, um, or it just just consider it to be sort of like background. You know, you'll catch a glimpse of it when you walk by going to the kitchen or something, right? Um, let me show you. This is a... a a photo of 
that shows both fireplaces simultaneously. And you can see over here, they've got some, uh, some upholstered uh, sofa or love seat with, with some mass to it. Still, I feel a little awkward because you would think you'd have something opposed to the fire too and create a, a sort of an enclosed space here. But, um, but you, you can see my point, right? You can see nobody over here is going to be able to enjoy the fire. Yeah, they can't see it. Same thing here. I have another photo to illustrate this. Oh, wait. So this, this gentleman is uh, Martin Heilbronn. I think he's Canadian. And he stayed at the house and he, with, with a few people and he made a video. But I wanted to just show you this image from his, his video. Um, you see my point. So here's the fireplace. And he's sitting here on this uncomfortable seating that's, you know, just just above his ribs. The, the, the back is just above his ribs, so he can't really sit back. Um, it's got this probably very uncomfortable, not very deep uh, uh, cushion. And he's having to sit upright with his knees bent. So he's not going to be sitting there for long. But you see my point. You, you can't enjoy the fire from this, this angle with, with other people especially. Now I have another photo that will show you probably the only way you're going to be able to really enjoy the fire. <laughs> so this is a young man, I guess Nat Hansen, he posted his photos uh, to the internet for the public to see. And he, it looks like he rented this house and he, he has a caption here. It says, enjoying the fire in Frank, Frank Lloyd Wright Schwartz house. So you see my point, like this is the way you're going to be able to enjoy the fire, right? I can't see any other way to, to really enjoy this fire. And that's a close-up of him enjoying the fire. And this is just another another angle with some different seating. This is from uh, that Canadian gentleman's uh, video. Um, you can see here that this is this is inadequate seating for sitting comfortably for a long period of time. Uh, so, you know, it's, it's a tough space. I, I do feel it's a tough space to, um, uh, furnish. Um, I think you could do it. Um, but it, I think it's a, it's a challenge because it's a little bit awkward, but that said, it's a good example of the type of fireplace I feel, uh, you know, Wright should have designed more of in his homes. And one last photo. So this is again from Mr. Heilbrunn. This is another photo or image from the video uh, showing that same seating. And you can see how far away the the sofa is. They they uh, he said he Mr. Heilbrunn said he actually had to move the sofa back because they wanted to read, and there was some ceiling lighting above here. So when the sofa was further up. Uh, there was no, not there was insufficient lighting for reading, so they had to move it back. But that put him at a greater distance from the fire. 